Hi everyone! So I don't have any makeup on today. Um, I'm having one of my no makeup days because I do have a few of these every now and again just where I just want my skin to breathe. No foundation, no concealer and just, you know, enjoy the fresh air. <laughs> I have about two or three days a week of this kind of look. Uh, yeah, but I did want to film this video and I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to film it tomorrow because I do have other things I want to film tomorrow. So I decided to film it today just before I have uni later. It's a mini haul and I'm going to be sharing with you guys the thing I got from iMat and a swap that I did with Asia, all things fabulous, hello. And also my birthday gift from Nia, Nia says. So if you want to see what I have to show you then keep on watching. So lots of you guys would probably already know that uh, IMAT went on last week. There's been lots of YouTube videos, lots of YouTube hauls and things like that. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really film as much as I wanted to. It was after, afterwards I realised, hang on a minute, I only have about one minute um, footage. And there's really no point in me actually making a proper video of this and putting it on because, um, yeah. But luckily, thank God, everyone else has um, uploaded like vlogs. And if you want to check out what we got up to, just, you know, YouTube, um, I'm at London 2012. Everyone's put up like vlog videos and like cool videos and stuff so you can check that out. Um, I'm going to try and make sure that next time I go, I take um, my camera with me and I film properly. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, not this time, this year. But I do have stuff to show you, so hopefully you like. Prior to going to IMAX, I put myself on a spending ban, um, a makeup spending ban in particular, because I realised I just have so much makeup that I don't wear. I only have one face, and there's only so much colours a girl can have to put on this one face, right? So I just decided just to use up my makeup and not buy any more makeup. And um, it's been quite uh, okay so far. I haven't purchased anything, and... Um, apart from just one thing which I'm about to show you. And it's the Real Techniques Brushes by Samantha Chapman, Pixie Woo, for those of you guys who don't know. Um, they make YouTube videos, um, beauty videos and stuff, and um, this is her range of brushes. I've heard lots of things about this. Um, Samantha uses it in her videos as well, and um, I've seen like blog posts, and I really did want to try it out to see um, what the quality was like and if I'd recommend it, and I would definitely recommend this it. This is the core collection. I know there's a uh, different collections but this is the core collection it comes with a contour brush a uh, foundation brush uh, sort of like a little defining brush I think it's called a oh, detail brush and the last one which is a buff a buffing brush I've used the buffing brush and I've also used the detail brush the buffing brush is amazing at applying foundation and just getting it in and the detail brush is amazing at applying concealer and also it reaches the areas where um, other brushes won't reach so like in the inner corners of the eyes around the nose and just little blemishes around the face and I think they're really amazing quality brushes and they feel so soft they apply so well I haven't experienced any shedding and I'm um, just really excited about it and it was only 16 pounds for the pack um, I think that was like an IMAX kind of deal. They do have them coming out in boots, I think this month. I think Sam was saying that on her channel. And um, you can also check them out on the Love Makeup website. I think I've got more information down below, so you, if you want to check these brushes out, you can. They're amazing, they're only £16, and I'm really, really happy with the quality of them. Um, I also got one other thing from IMAX, and it's just another brush. And this one's a Kabuki brush. I like this for like mineral foundation, mineral powders, powders in general, something that you can use really quickly just to apply makeup, minimal makeup, and also to blend foundation or blend any other product that you have on your face. Um, it was only £16, and I think the um, the name of the brand, I can't really remember, it's an R and L, Lang Nickel, R something Lang Nickel. Um, I'll put more info down below because I really can't remember the name of the brand, but it was only £6, and that's really good. Um, I like it, it feels really, really soft. Mm. Nia was also at IMAT and um, she bought my present and I gave her her present and I was so excited because I did put some of the stuff on my blog as part of a wish list and I really wasn't expecting anyone to get me anything off there but Nia was so lovely and she sent me a tweet saying that I bought you stuff from your wish list and I was like, oh my god, thank you so much. And I was like, oh my god, I've got to get her something as well. So I got her something. And um, so yeah, hi Nia, thank you so much for your gifts. I really, really like them. And uh, I'll start with the first one, which is the fashion book. And this is such an amazing book. I really love fashion books and 
books that I can read and get inspired by. I have quite a few books in my collection and I've been wanting this for a while and she got it for me so sweet. I love it because it's got so many photographs in there of like vintage fashion, fashion back in the day, modern fashion, um, modern icons and things like that. So it's just such a cute book just to open up and read when I need inspiration. Oh look it's Grace Jones. So um, it's just an amazing, amazing book. So thanks so much, Nia. Um, she also got me a few other things. I don't own any models own nail polishes or models own anything, and I didn't want to try out the brand. And um, she got me three nail polishes, and it's the Pastel Trio. Um, it comes with a nice pastel grey, a pastel yellow, and a pastel purple, and it's just going to be amazing for springtime. Um, can't wait to paint my nails these. And she knows that I'm a very big fan of Lossy Tan and um, their hand cream is a hand cream that I love so much and um, she went and got me another one. So I've got two tubes now of the Lossy Tan hand cream. It's made for dry skin but and it's amazing for normal skin as well. It's just such a good hand cream, it's the only one I really use. I know there's lots of talk about the other one by Body Shop, the hemp one. Lots of people rave about that, I haven't tried that yet but um, I can swear by this, I, I do love this. Um, another thing she got from Lossitan was this lovely candle and it's the White Blossoms um, candle. Oh, it smells amazing. So floral, so fresh smelling and it's just such an amazing packaging. I love it. It's like a hexagon. So that's that. Um, yeah, so that's what Nina got me. So before Christmas, Asia and I started speaking and um, we decided to do a swap because there was tons of things that she wanted to try from the UK, like Sleek, um, MUA and a few other like uh, UK uh, drugstore brands. And I also wanted to try some things from the US, especially NYX products. I know that some people, uh, uh, sorry, some stores stock NYX, like River Island stock a bit of NYX and Harrods stock a bit of NYX, but they, the it's not really that varied. And um, I really want to try out a bit more than what they already had. And so um, Asia and I started talking and we decided to do it all. So uh, I'm going to share with you guys some of the stuff that I got. Um, she got me some amazing lipsticks and some lip glosses and some blushes. But my sister, who thinks that she has a right to my makeup collection, she's come and raided my collection and taken some stuff home. Um, still need to go and grab them from her. Um, I, I do have this <laughs> in a little plastic case just so I can keep everything for this video. Um, some you know, lip glosses and some blushes that I really love that I wanted to show you guys. I'll start off with the blushes and this is a cream blush and it's called Glow. It's just a really lovely pinky cream blush. It has this really natural look to it. Um, I, I use this when I'm not going to wear any powder, uh, just to have like a natural looking blush and I apply it using my fingers and that's a really, really nice brush, blush brush. This one's another one. It's a, a powdered a uh, matte one is called Desert Rose and it's just a lovely kind of pink for the cheeks. It, sh it shows up really well on my skin tone. So This next one is Coco and it's just a really nice natural looking blush. It's matte as well. And the last one is Nutmeg. And Nutmeg is such a pretty colour. It's a cross between a brown, a peach and like a natural pinky type colour and it shows up really nice on my skin, something really natural to wear and I've used it quite a bit already, I don't know if you can see, I like it. Now on to lip glosses, um, the first is natural, which is just a natural gloss, natural colour lip gloss. Second is beautiful, which is a beautiful pink, natural pink. This one's called Lala, and I've used this in the tutorial. I used it in my Get Ready With Me video for my birthday, wore it on my birthday. Then I have Nude Peach. I'm a very big fan of Nude Peach lip glosses, so I really wanted to try this one out. I have this red, and it's called Juicy Red. So on days where I want more of a glossy kind of red lip, go for this one. This one's a really lovely colour. It's a burgundy. Very, very pigmented, very vibrant. I think it'd be amazing for the night time. Last one is Garnet, which is another purple but slightly deeper than burgundy. Okay, so that's it for my mini haul. 
Hopefully you like it. Um, I do have a few other bits I've bought recently, um, clothes-wise. So some really nice knitwear I got from H&M and a few other bits from Topshop and Zara. Um, let me know if you'd like a haul and I will film one once I have the time. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have a nice day. I'm now off to go make myself a cup of tea. And get